Amazon API Gateway is a fully managed service that makes it easy for developers to create, publish, maintain, monitor, and secure APIs at any scale. With API Gateway you can create a REST API or WebSocket API that provides an interface for applications to access data, business logic, or functionality from your back-end services, such as workloads running on AWS EC2, code running on AWS Lambda, any web application, or real-time communication applications. In this lab we will create a REST API using API Gateway which will access code running on AWS Lambda which in turn will retrieve product information stored in DynamoDB. Let's first create product table in DynamoDB. DynamoDB is a fully managed NoSQL database managed by AWS. It stores data in key value pairs and uses one or more partition keys as a primary keys. Log into AWS console. Search for DynamoDB. Click Create Table. Give the table a name. Create Product ID as the primary key with number data type. Next we will add items to the table. Populate the partition key. Create another field which will denote whether the product is available or not. Choose data type as string. Keep adding more items to the table. Make sure the primary key is unique. Now that we have created a product table, let's create a Lambda function to retrieve product availability information from that table. AWS Lambda lets you run code without provisioning or managing servers. You pay only for the compute time you consume. You can set up your code to automatically trigger from other AWS services such as API Gateway or call it directly from any web or mobile app. Search Lambda service and click create a function. Select author from scratch. Give the function a name. Select Python 3.6 as the language. Create a role from the template. Click create function. Once the function is created we need to give the role, access to DynamoDB database. Go to IAM. Search for the role and attach a policy for Dynamo Decibel access. Now let's modify the Lambda code to access data from DynamoDB. We will modify the Lambda code to access data from DynamoDB. 
First import Boto 3. Boto is the Amazon Web Services SDK for Python, which allows Python developers to write software that makes use of Amazon services like S3, EC2, DynamoDB etc. Next create a Boto client for DynamoDB and using the client create an object for our DynamoDB table. Let's hard code the product number. Later on we will be passing the product number from API Gateway. Using the getItem method we can retrieve information from the table by passing one or more keys. We get a response object from which we can extract specific field. Let's execute it and see the response. You will notice that availability information is getting fetched. We need to configure a dummy test event to test it. Leave the JSON blank as we are not passing any parameter. Now test and see the output. Change the product number and try to retrieve the corresponding availability information. Finally we will create a REST API using API Gateway and integrate it with the Lambda function and also configure the API to pass product number in the URL. Log into AWS console and search for API Gateway. Click on Get Started. Select REST API. Give API a name and description. We will choose a regional endpoint. Select Resources. Create a new resource with any name. Resource is nothing but a URL segment. The resource name is your default path to that resource and you can also edit the same. Leave everything else as default. Now you need to decide what action to perform when the resource is invoked. Select the resource, click create a method and define what HTTP request the resource should handle. Select get method and then save it. We will integrate our get method with the lambda function that fetches product availability information. When you click on the get method you see the request response cycle. It shows how data flows in the API. The client depicts the application that uses the API. In the method request section you can define methods authorization settings and different parameters to validate incoming requests. This acts as a gatekeeper for incoming requests. With integration request module, you can transform the incoming data and call the endpoint. Integration response gets triggered as soon as the action is performed. You can transform the data here if you want, before sending it back to the client. Method response defines the shape of the response. You can define status code, what type of header your response should have and which type of data it should send back. You will notice the lambda function is shown as the endpoint. You can click on the link here and directly go to the lambda function. In the lambda function you will notice API gateway is shown as a trigger. Let's deploy the API. Now we need to create a stage. Stage helps us manage different versions of API like development, staging or production API. Create a stage called dev, and deploy the API. Once deployed you will see an invocation URL which you can use to reach the get method of your newly created API.
you need to append the resource name to the URL to call the get method. We will also pass a parameter containing product number in the URL. We need to modify the API Gateway Integration Request section to read the product number and pass it on to the Lambda function. By default API Gateway strips out all inputs that your user gives through the API. You have to specifically define what input variables you want to accept through a mapping template. Let's create a mapping template of type application slash json. Let's create a JSON document that will be passed on to the Lambda function. We will read the product number from URL using the syntax and store it in the JSON file. API Gateway will replace the product value based on user input parameter and pass the generated JSON to the endpoint which is Lambda function in our case. Save it and deploy it. Now let's change the lambda function to read the user passed value from the event parameter. Type cast the value to an integer as the data type is integer in our database. Go to browser and invoke API URL passing the product number. You can see the product availability information getting fetched from the DynamoDB database. Product number 103 is not available. This information is coming from the DynamoDB database. Product number 104 is available. API is invoking Lambda function and Lambda is fetching the data from a DynamoDB database and sending it back to the client. This is how you can create a REST API to expose your backend data to client. Thank you.